All right, guys, Power Acoustic 10K, half ohm, uncertified. Can it survive? If yes, we'll see what it can do. All right, guys, here it is. You asked for it, you begged, you pleaded. Power Acoustic EG1, 10,000, or is that, no, 10,000D, or is that 100,000? I don't know, I think it's 10,000D. <laughs> So here it is, the Moscone lookalike. 10,000 watts max power, 0.5 ohm subwoofer amplifier. Let's take a look, see what this bad boy is all about. Ooh, she's pretty. Let's pull out the manual real quick and see what it says. All right, as you can see, the manual has all different versions of the edge amplifiers and I think the ratings are in the very back yes they are so let's see the EG1 10,000D 1600 watts at 4 ohms 3300 at 2 ohms and 5000 RMS at 1 ohm does not have a half ohm listing although it says it will uh, external fuse doesn't tell you what size so anyway, uh, let's power this bad boy up and see what it really does. All right, here's the input side of the amp. You can see we have input output RCAs. We have phase shift, subsonic filter, bass boost, master slave. So it looks like these can be strap together data link to do that remote power and protect and the other end we have zero gauge ground and power we have what looks like pretty beefy maybe six gauge or so speaker terminals here's an overhead shot of the amp these little pieces here are plastic this appears this is aluminum nice little emblem there kind of raised up looks pretty slick all right 10,000 watts let's get it hooked up all right guys here's the power acoustic 10,000 watt max edge amplifier it's a test everybody wants to see the one ohm certified test at 40 hertz so we get Hold on to your hats. Oh, 1,917 watts at 14 volts. Well, that's not 5,000 watts. Let's see what kind of current we pulled. 236.1. Wow. Well, maybe this is a class D. Maybe it needs uncertified. So let me let the bank of uh, caps charge up a little bit and we'll try it uncertified and see if we can get, well, we're not going to get close to 5,000, but let's see what we get anyway. All right, guys, let's give this 10,000 watt max power acoustic a try at 1 ohm mono uncertified to give it all the possibilities it can to get close to its rated power of 5,000. Thousand watts. Twenty one sixty two, right at fourteen volts. We pulled two hundred and forty seven point five amps. Well, not quite half of its rated. All right, so I hear you guys talking. Maybe it needs the dynamic run, right? At one ohm. Let's try it out and see what it does. Twenty eight hundred thirty two watts, fourteen point one seven volts. All right, so the box says this is a half an ohm amplifier. The manual doesn't say it. We're going to try it. All right, let's try half ohm certified, power acoustic EG1 10,000D. Twenty-eight 
350.3 amps. Half ohm, uncertified. Twenty-eight hundred and thirty watts, thirteen point nine volts, and we pulled three hundred and fifty-eight point nine amps. Yes, three fifty-eight point nine. All right. So the box says this is a half an ohm amplifier. The manual doesn't say it. We're going to try it. The dynamic test shouldn't hurt the amp. Let's see what we get. All right, 4,877 watts, 14.15, dynamic, power acoustic 10K. All right, so you guys wanna see guts, power acoustic 10K. There we go. Alright guys, here you have the results of the Power Acoustic EG1 10,000D. Uh, it actually did handle the half ohm loads and did about half of what it said it would do at one ohm. So 2,500 watts up to 1% distortion and about 2,800 up to clipping. 4,877 using the burst test. But um, this, I just did this test, bought this amp to show you guys what to expect when you buy something like this. So hopefully you appreciate that. Give me a thumbs up, share this video, subscribe to me. Thanks as always for watching. I appreciate you guys watching my videos. And until next time, this is Big D Wiz. I'm out of here. Thanks to Stinger Electronics for providing the accessories that power the OSS Labs. Find out more, stingerelectronics.com.